Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to learn how you can do color isolation effect in Adobe Premiere Pro just like that. So nowadays we need to do retention editing to grab the attention of our audience and that is why you need to do so many things when you edit a video. Today we're going to do how you can isolate a person and how you can desaturate the background and do some motions, right? So here I have choose a photo. You can use any photo that you like i'll just make a new sequence just by clicking new item and then sequence and then i'll make just 1080p 23.976 i mean 24 fps sequence and i can name it color isolation and then if i click ok here is my sequence now i need to click and drag this image here which i have chosen to edit right so this is my image first i need to isolate the person and then i will add some motion here to make it a little bit interesting to achieve the isolation effect we need to use the effect called lumetri color so if you go to effects and then you can search for lumetri and then lumetri color here click and drag this effect just like that right then get back to effects control panel and from there you will see lumetri color effect is here and from there we need to make a mask to isolate the subject right so here you have to choose the pen tool if i select the draw bezier then i can just click and drag to just trace our subject you don't need to be very precise and perfect you can just make a very rough selection to isolate the subject depending on the image so here on my image there isn't so many colors uh, beside my background so i can just make a rough selection just like that so our selection is done so now you can go to the creative section from the lumetri color effect and from there if you desaturate you will see the subject will be desaturated right so here I can just decrease the saturation this is the saturation right so I can just decrease the saturation you'll see the subject has been desaturated so what we need we need to desaturate the background that is why we need to invert this lumetri mask right so here you will see inverted if I click there then you see it is magically inverted the background now to make it a little bit interesting you can keyframe this settings right so first just go to at the beginning of your video and then get back here and here on the saturation section just click on this stopwatch so that is our beginning section right so here you can just make it 100 percent so everything is colored and then just follow a few frames and from here you can just decrease the saturation now if you play it back you'll see the background have been desaturated now we need to make it a little bit more interesting and we can add some motion to add some motion you can use another effect which is transform just click and drag this transform effect here and get back to effects control panel scroll down here you'll see transform effect and from there just disable use composite shutter and here make the shutter angle 180 degree now we want to zoom in and we want to rotate a little bit so we have to go to here at the beginning of our video and there we'll add keyframe for position then scale and then rotation and then you can just press shift and then right arrow key to forward five frames and again one two so total we have forwarded seven frames and here i want to add the rotation maybe this much and there i want to add the scale and i want to position this image so that it doesn't look bad i want to eliminate the black section here right so adjust the rotation and position so if i play it back now it is looking very fast what we can do we can make it a little bit slower so let's go to effects control panel if you double click here you can make this panel a lot bigger then you can select the keyframes that you have added later you can click and drag it there to make it a little bit slower and then you can right click and then temporal interpolation and then ease in right again you can double click 
on the effects control panel to make it smaller and then if i play it back you'll see it is looking a lot more smooth and now we can add a sound effect so that it looks better so go to your preferred extension on whatever service you use for sound effect i'll just go to premiere composer and from there i will add a sound effect so if i go to starter pack sounds here i can use this one maybe so if i click add i can add it here on my timeline and then adjust the timing of your sound effect i would i want to keep it at the beginning maybe there so here is our final effect So that is how you can make a color isolation effect in Adobe Premiere Pro and you can use that for your future project. That is all for today. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you need this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro video editing, the Vinci Resolve or filmmaking, you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.